Okay, here we go. What uh, what are we going to talk about today, Emily? Well, we are going to do a post right now for my blog, Ems Talkery, mm -hmm. and the subject is going to be, because I asked John, should we talk about this or that? And John said, let's talk about your African adventure. Right. I had an adventure in Africa that I will never forget. Right. Well, you it was South to, Africa. South Africa. You want to fill us in a little bit on what it was? No, you fill us in. Well, I was out at Jones Beach doing, um, I don't know, King, the King and I. Yeah, you know, and uh, you you were in South Africa with all your doing a solo trip with where you were performing the Mahler's, the Mahler's Fifth Symphony with symphony orchestra. Well, first we have to explain. I had been very sick. I'd been in an automobile accident and I had had surgery and as I was recovering from surgery, I booked a tour out of town, which was going to be out of town in South Africa. Yeah, well, that's where... And then from South Africa, I was going to... South America. South America and Australia and New Zealand. And China. Well, that was a long trip. It was an extraordinary very trip. Very out of town. Anyway, I got a, we, I used to communicate with Emily by telephone from Jones Beach, of all places, uh, in a little old shack that I had out there, and I was talking to it her. It was a lovely shack. Yes, it was. And I remember I was talking to you in South Africa, and there was about, well, I guess, about t 10 hours difference. Uh, a lot of difference. I don't know what it maybe was. It was maybe, maybe it was seven hours. I well, I was in yeah. South Africa, and that was fine. But when I went from South Africa to, where was I going? South, you were going to South America. South America. And that was a, that was there about, was a problem. about a five hours difference in the opposite direction. So together, it was about 12 hours difference. Well, I was going to Colombia. Not Colombia. Colombia. And I did not, I don't speak the language. And what happened was, I was premiering the Mahler Symphony in somewhere in an important place, one of the drug towns, but my baggage did not arrive. My baggage wasn't there. And it, you can't do Mahler's Fifth Symphony. In a drug all. town or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Without your baggage. Uh, no. So I got stuck and the State Department had supported me. I was under State Department uh, umbrella, yeah. mm -hmm. but I couldn't reach the State Department because at that moment that I was there, the State Department and Columbia were not talking. <laughs> and at the station, at the airport, when I arrived, there were men with masks and what are they? What Gun, are they? Uzis or guns. Guns or and shields. And they didn't talk. They just stared and looked at me like I was some weirdo. Well, I couldn't reach John, and I couldn't get my baggage, and I couldn't reach. Oh, well, you I couldn't, couldn't reach your agent. Actually, you had. It was easier to get me at Jones Beach than it was to reach your agent in New York for some reason. So I would be talking to South America uh, at, at one hour, and then I would be calling South Africa, which was at, at least twelve or fourteen hours different, trying to coordinate. What had happened to your baggage? We couldn't figure out what it, where it had gone. It went to Medellin, didn't it? Or something? Medellin, that's right. That's the town. That right. was a big memory. And what happened was I couldn't leave Medellin to go to my next performance, which was in Buenos Aires, which was the major opening and a big auspices. I couldn't get my baggage to open in Medellin. And if I didn't get it open in Medellin, how was I going to get to... When it's Aries. Well, you finally found out that the ba where the baggage was. Well, the baggage had, been, the baggage had been sent to, um, what is the name? Caracas? Of it? Yes. Caracas? Was it? Uh, I don't remember. It was someplace else. And I went and begged. And at the police station, the police... Well, I remember I remember when I talked I to you on the telephone, Emily, that you were telling me that someplace, at some point, you could look through the I gate. saw my bag behind a gate. And it was on a Sunday. And the guy said, sorry, we can't open it on a Sunday. And I had a chance to get the baggage, get back to Medellin, go, go continue with the tour. And I tried everything. I tried tears and weeping and State Department and language and temperament and it did not work. But John did help me and John managed to reach the proper people. So we 
with his help, got the gate open and I got the bags and I went back to Medellin, danced in Medellin. I did my Mahler in Medellin. And, but you, then you had trouble getting out of the country. Then they didn't want to let me go unless I paid taxes. So I paid taxes and I got out of there oh, and went to Buenos Aires. John, I would never have been able to do it if you hadn't been my telephone helper. Connection, the connection, yeah. Me sitting in, a, in, on a, in my swimsuit at Oak Beach. Oak Beach and, well, this is why I don't really look forward to thinking of travel as a vacation. Well. Let's not travel. Well, okay. If you, we'll do a play in New York, but we won't travel. All right. Then sometime we'll talk about the play. Okay. Right. Next time. All right. Well, it's been very much of a joy to be with you today, and we'll see you next week, okay?